It's just, just, just standard old vehicle. Here we go. It's just a lot bigger than my usual vehicle. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't want to be the one that wrecks said truck. Well, I don't think anybody <laughs> does. <laughs> But uh, we're, we're thinking about, maybe we ought to bring this up to Washington. We should have to spend a couple of days up there with the delegation. So we'll do that. You want some air conditioning? Or are you happy the way it is? I'm very happy. Okay. I can give you a little bit of... I'm fine. I'm fine. I just, I just want you to be comfortable. How's it feel, Bob? Is feeling different? You know, um, I guess not. I mean, I don't, I, I don't usually drive a truck this big and heavy, so it's, uh, but uh, it's just, I guess if, if you were used to driving a truck, this is what it feels like, mm -hmm. typical. Yeah. I've got a, um, uh, a Chevy Avalanche, which is not quite as big, and uh, it just drives about the same. I drove this up to Columbia. three or four weeks ago and I took the back roads up and just to just see how I handle all the back roads. Handled it very well. I got about 23 miles per gallon out of it. So I get actually better fuel miles with with the hydrogen version than I did on the uh, than, than they get with the gas version. You see, why is that? I it's gotta be the way they they've sort of tuned it up with the computer and things like that and the way they've optimized it. Because I thought hydrogen has less energy per volume, right? Yeah, it does, but that's why you've got the supercharger. Because the supercharger compensates for that. Now, maybe it's... What'd you think, Bob? Okay. All right. <laughs> that is awesome. I could do some farming in this truck, Price. <laughs> this is pretty neat. How'd it drive? It's very nice. Very smooth ride.